And in our church, the, in the Lutheran church, we have a statement of faith, and, and I'm sure all of you have statement of faiths in your, in your churches, but we have one that, um, if in the Augsburg Confession, and, and Article 7 is, is an interesting one, and, and again, I'm sharing this perspective from, uh, from my experience as a Lutheran pastor, and it says, our churches also teach that the one holy church is to continue forever. The church is the assembly of saints in which the gospel is taught purely and the sacraments are administered rightly. For the true unity of the church is, is it, it is enough to agree concerning the teaching of the gospel and the administration of the sacraments. It is not necessary that human traditions or rites and ceremonies instituted by men should be alike everywhere. This kind of gave us a little bit of an opening there. Um, Yes, tradition is good, but tradition isn't the reason why we proclaim the gospel. Tradition is almost like a platter in which you present the gospel. The, the, the main thing is that we stay within the faith. And that's, again, I want to say we don't want to throw the faith out. Absolutely not. We want to be defenders of the faith. If we don't proclaim the gospel truly and purely, we're, we're really wasting our time because the reason why we're here is to proclaim the gospel. But ceremony is instituted. We can change those. We can add music and that sort of thing. And I, my time is running short here, so let me do quickly do this quickly. But we, we have the freedom to, to uh, uh, be able to change a few things in which we've done. We've updated the, the, the music and that sort of thing. Um, church growth defined all that is involved in bringing men and women who do not have a personal relationship to Jesus Christ into fellowship with him and into responsible church membership. Again, this is something that... Uh, that we teach also, we're to teach to our congregation, use the insights of church growth to uh, bring about renewal and, uh, and turnaround. And uh, again, I like this, this uh, uh, verse, uh, this uh, uh, quote from McGavern, uh, where it says, the basic position of church growth are profoundly biblical and theological, but they are not a complete theology. Complete your theology by building these bas- basic growth concepts as to the urgency and authority of evangelism into it. As you set forth church growth theory and theology for your congregations and your denomination, use your own creedal statements, your own system. Voice church growth in your own patois. Do not attack church growth as theologically inadequate. Make it adequate according to the doctrines emphasized by your branch of the church. And so we see that we teach church growth principles. We don't uh, compromise with our faith, with our beliefs, with what we teach but we can use church growth insights to bring about turnaround.